Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Holroyd. I'm a consultant cardiologist. Um, I do interventional cardiology at the uh, Royal Stoke University Hospital uh, in Stoke, and I am also the lead cardiologist at uh, Mid Cheshire Hospital in uh, Leighton. I do more general cardiology, um, and then I also work at the Alexandra Hospital in Cheadle. Angioplasty or coronary artery bypass surgery are important treatments for the um, uh, treatment of coronary artery uh, disease. So coronary artery disease uh, and cardiovascular disease in general is the leading cause of uh, death in the world uh, and it's very important to recognise uh, people with coronary artery disease so that we can give them all the right treatments. Uh, and Stenting and PCI and bypass surgery are sort of small part of that. Um, you know, the, there are other very important treatments that uh, I would, you know, direct towards people uh, with these conditions. And so I'm very interested in investigating people with uh, breathlessness and chest pain and uh, other uh, symptoms of cardiac disease so that we can make sure people have the, the best possible uh, treatment. So uh, coronary angioplasty is a procedure whereby we um, put a stent in a coronary artery to, so that more blood can flow to the uh, heart muscle that's, uh, that's, uh, that's supplied by uh, that artery. Uh, it's a percutaneous procedure, so it's a sort of keyhole type procedure uh, which is done. There's no anaesthetic involved usually uh, and the patient will be awake. Uh, we sometimes give some sedation. Uh, but it's um, a, a very minimally invasive procedure. We, we go through the through the patient's uh, wrist, uh, and we do everything on a TV screen. Um, bypass surgery is a is a bigger undertaking, and it's, in, it's obviously it's major heart surgery requiring anaesthetic. Um, uh, but it's a very good operation. It stood the test of time. It's been done for fifty years or more now. And, and uh, both procedures, uh, you know, save lots of lives and help people uh, with their symptoms, reducing disability and improving ability. And uh, are both are very good procedures in the in the right context. So uh, during a coronary on angioplasty, we go to the cath lab, um, and um, sometimes we give some sedation if a, if a patient is a little uh, nervous, but that's not essential. Uh, we would put a bit of uh, anaesthetic in the patient's wrist normally uh, and then we would pass a tube round to the heart and we would squirt some uh, rip, um, dye down the arteries to see uh, where any blockages might be and we would be looking on a tv screen um, and we would see from those pictures where the problem is and then we would uh, treat it so um, for a sort of straightforward angioplasty and uh, we would then put a little wire down the artery uh, and then pass a balloon along that wire um, so that uh, we could then squash the narrowing to the side of the artery and then we would place a stent in the artery normally which is like a, a metal spring to hold the artery open. They're made of cobalt chromium alloys and sometimes have drugs attached to them. Uh, it's usually a straightforward procedure taking maybe 20 or 30 minutes but obviously there are often more complex cases um, when I'm called in at night um, for an emergency procedure, that can be a more complicated uh, uh, undertaking um, and you know, may take uh, a lot longer and be more uh, difficult. But a straightforward procedure, say for the treatment of angina, would, would usually take about 20 or 30 minutes. Um, and you know, the patient would often walk out of the cath lab uh, feeling better immediately often. Um, so it's a very good procedure and reasonably straightforward. So uh, coronary angioplasty uh, is a very good procedure. So we do it in two contexts, really. We do it as an emergency procedure. So for people who've had heart attacks. And so uh, if you came in at night or actually even during the day and we did a we did an angioplasty for you because you've had a heart attack, then that procedure would um, you know potentially save your life. Uh, it, it would certainly make you uh, live longer and reduce uh, disability, reduce your risk of developing heart failure um, and, and reduce symptoms such as of ongoing angina. Um, in the context of more chronic disease, so if you came to me and we were investigating you because you had um, chest pain or breathlessness or 
even tiredness uh, and we I felt that uh, you had coronary artery disease and and then you did um, if a lesion is suitable for treatment with a stent um, then it's been it's certainly been shown that you would reduce your risk of coming in as an emergency and that's a very good thing uh, it would also reduce your symptoms so it would reduce your disability so there are a lot of people who are very disabled with uh, angina and chest pain and breathlessness and potentially you would uh, improve those symptoms too. So coronary artery um, angioplasty or stenting and bypass surgery are both really good procedures um, and we certainly offer them both at the institutions I work at. The decision as to which uh, procedure to have uh, is ultimately down to the patient and, and uh, I would have a conversation with the patient with uh, my patient as to uh, what the uh, best treatment is and um, it's really important that that uh, decision is made in an informed way so that um, you as the patient can decide which treatment is better uh, for you uh, and so we would take into account um, what we saw on the angiogram so when we took the pictures of your coronary arteries and what pattern of disease you uh, had and if uh, an art if there's only one artery with a blockage in it then it may be that uh, a stent would be the right uh, treatment for you it would certainly be more straightforward uh, involve less pain and recovery time um, and um, you know it, it would improve your symptoms and hopefully even your uh, prognosis um, if there was more complex pattern of disease and um, then we would have a conversation about whether a bypass uh, operation might be the best treatment for you there are certain patterns of disease so if you had disease in all three arteries around your heart or disease in the main artery supplying your heart with blood the left main stem and uh, then sometimes uh, particularly if you're diabetic then uh, sometimes uh, a bypass operation might be the best treatment for you Recent research would uh, suggest, though, that if um, 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 we feel a, a stent could be done in certain circumstances, then sometimes both treatments might be appropriate. And then it would be up to uh, you, the patient, in conjunction with me and maybe a cardiothoracic surgeon to decide between us what, what you think the right uh, treatment for you would be. Um, say so they're both very good uh, and ultimately the decision would be uh, up to the patient to decide say provided they uh, are fully informed of the uh, risks and benefits and everything else.